All right, guys, today what we're going to be doing is looking at similar triangles. So uh, why would we look at similar triangles to help us uh, with slope? So remember, last lesson we looked at dilations when we looked at proportions that were equal. Um, so for instance, if I were to look at this, what we want to do is count the rise over run on this. So you're going to hear rise over run over and over and over. So basically what it's saying, when I have two points, what is the distance of me going either up or down, and what is it going left or right? So let's go ahead and look at this now together. So if I started here and I counted up, I'm going up one, two, three, four, five, six spots. And then over here, I would go to the right um, from this, from right here, one, two, three, four points. So it says my rise over run is six over four. So I went up six over four. Now looking at this, well, what's the big deal of that? Well, if I could reduce this, or if I can see another way where I could put, uh, put these points is if I went up three, one, two, three, and over two, one, two, that would make a similar triangle. Now from last lesson that we looked, Similar triangles, so this one we're going over 6 over 4, and this 3 over 2 are proportional. When I can create these proportional slopes, these proportional triangles, I should say, these similar triangles, their rise over run is proportional, which means that their slopes are equivalent. So let's go ahead and look at a few of these examples now. So if I were to look at the next one, here now, my slope would be negative. Now, a quick thing is with positive and negative slopes, um, always just write your name on it. So if I were to write my name on it, is my name going up or down? And it is going up, therefore it is a positive six over four, which would reduce to three over two. Now looking at this next one, if I just wrote my name on it, my name would be going down. When it's going down, it will have a negative slope. So that's just a little hint to help you guys out. So let's go ahead and look at this now. If I start at this point, I'm going to go down one, two, and I think that's it. I go down one, two, yes. And then I'm going to go over to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let me double check these uh, by using my pen. So I started here, I went down one, two, so I went down negative two, and I'm going to the right, so I go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I went over positive seven. So my slope here would be negative two over seven. And that negative two came from going down here. People might say, well, what if I start at this point and go up? If we go up one, two, so I just went up positive two, then you're going to go to the left seven spots. And if you're going to the left, that is negative seven. And two over negative seven reduced to just negative two over seven. All right, now I chose this one because if we start at this point, people get confused. They're like, well, how am I going to go up and over and stuff? So let's just count from this point to the other one. Let's count my rise. I go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So my rise there is 11. Now, how much did I go over from one point to the other? I didn't go over any, so I'm going to write zero. Anytime you have zero as the denominator, that's going to be undefined. It doesn't have a slope. We can't define it. So anytime you have a zero on the denominator, it's going to be undefined. All right. Now the next one, that I, uh, image I showed you in the very beginning of having the, uh, uh, what was it, 6 over 4 or 4 over 6. Let's go ahead and double check. This first one right here, 6 over 4 and 3 over 2, those are proportional. So why would that help us? Well, looking at this next one now, with similar triangles, I have, I go up 7, that's my rise. Remember, it's always rise over run. I go up 7 and a half, and I run X. So I just went up 7.5, and I went over X that is going to be proportional to what my slope actually is. And remember here, it is 3 over 4. So it's essentially saying, well, my actual rise over run in simplified version would be 3 and then over 4. These are two similar triangles because they share a side. 
and an angle. So then what I can do is I can just cross multiply these and solve. This would give me 30 equals 3x. And when I divide both sides by 3, I'm going to get x is equal to 10. So there you go. When this happens, you just set them up with rise over run is your uh, proportion that you're setting up. You set up the one that we, the problem it's asking. This one is saying I'm, I went up 7.5 and I'm running x. So I just go rise 7.5, running x, and I set that up equal to my real slope, which is given in the problem 3 over 4. If you have any questions with this one or any others on your homework, please give me, uh, please email me or your teacher.